dales la mano y te tomarán el brazo. Dales la mano y te tomarán el brazo. Ooh, what is this about? Dales is like saying, um, give them, okay? Dales, give them. You can say, dales pan. Give them bread, okay? Dales agua. Give them water, okay? So it's a command to say, give to someone something. Dales. And we're talking about la mano. Dales la mano. That means give them the hand, essentially. E, e means and. Te tomarán. They will take. Tomarán comes from the verb tomar, which means to drink or to take. You can take your keys. Toma tus llaves. Take, take your keys. Okay? So it's quite funny. Tomar means to drink something. Tomar agua. To drink water. Or tomar something. Take, to take something. In this situation, el brazo. El brazo, the arm. Okay? So the arm. We're not talking about the hand. We're talking about the arm. So... Interesting. Interesting. The literal meaning, as I said, is... Oops. Literal meaning, give them your hand and they will take your arm. Just as I said. It's not similar to the saying, it costs... An arm and a leg, <laughs> because I know that there is an English saying uh, that refers to something expensive. When you say that saying, it's like saying, oh my God, it's too expensive. It costs an arm and, and a leg or something like that. This is not about that. We're, <laughs> we're talking, or it's similar to, give a man an inch and he'll take a mile. So it's similar to that English saying. Essentially, you're saying you give them a little bit of something, some help, and they want everything now, you know, a lot of help. Um, so that person is abusing your generosity. <laughs> Essentially, you're saying I'm helping you as much as I can, but come on, <laughs> you know. Don't abuse that. Don't abuse that. So that's what this saying is about. For example, I could say, or you could say, Mi hijo me pidió mi tarjeta de crédito. Mi hijo me pidió mi tarjeta de crédito. Can you believe it? <laughs> Dales la mano. Y te tomarán el brazo. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Good stuff. Mi hijo me pidió mi tarjeta de crédito. Dales la mano y te tomarán el brazo. Um, hmm. So this means my son. Sorry. Son. <laughs> Not the son. Son. <laughs> my son. And you believe if I can say my son, that star is my son. <laughs> no, we're talking about a kid, <laughs> pretty much. My son asked for my credit card. Can you believe it? Give a man an inch and he'll take a mile. So <laughs> if, you're, if you have a kid and you're giving some allowance to the kid, you know, every... Sunday or something, you're giving a little bit of money to your kid to buy whatever they want to buy, video games or something like that. That's fine. But this kid is asking for a credit card. <laughs> it's like, I think you're abusing my generosity, you know, 
I mean, if the dad or the mom can say this, of course, because you would not give a credit card to a kid <laughs> or a teenager, right? You don't want, you, you, you can't do that. That's a dangerous thing. <laughs> it can cost you a lot of money. So when you say, mi hijo, mi hijo, that means my son, okay? Some people say, mijo. They kind of like, <laughs> you know, don't say a few, a few letters. So they, they can say, I don't, I'm pretty sure you probably heard this somewhere. Mijo, right? That's, that's used if you're calling your kid, I don't know, you want to, um, tell them, hey, come here, whatever. Mijo, ven aquí. Mijo, do something. Mijo, uh, please help me with this, and so on. So, mijo is just like a cute way to call your son, you know, like an endearment term. Mijo, mijo. Uh, but essentially, you're saying mi hijo. Mi hijo. Just like that. Mi hijo means my son. Mi, my hijo, son. Me pidió, asked for, past tense, pedir, uh, to ask for. Uh, in this situation, you're saying asked me. Ask for, uh, like my son asked me. Obviously, you ask for, uh, not ask a question, but essentially you're saying me, right? Me pidió asked for to me, right? Mi tarjeta de crédito, this term here, again, mi means my tarjeta de crédito, that's a long term, and that means credit card, of course. And then the saying, dales la mano y te tomarán el brazo. Give a man an inch and he'll take a mile. So that's what this means. Someone is not a good boy, <laughs> you know, um, maybe a spoiled kid, maybe, <laughs> who knows, but uh, <laughs> that's what this means. <laughs> it's a good saying, I like it too, you know, it's a, a, a very, very uh, interesting way to say, hey, don't abuse my generosity. Take it easy, man. Take it easy. And it, yeah, it's, it's good. It's clever. It's good. Mm -hmm.